The Ohio House worked overnight into the early morning hours to pass three different bills. One of those is House Bill 458, which will change election laws here in the state. WCPO 9 News reporter Taylor Nimmo is in the newsroom with who will be impacted the most by these changes. Taylor? Yeah, Craig, Ohioans will now need to show a photo ID to vote in person on Election Day. Previously, there was a long list of documents that you could bring, such as utility bills, paychecks, and bank statements. And now you can bring a state-issued photo ID, a passport, or a military ID, and that's it. Now it will be one of the strictest photo ID requirements in the nation. Statistics in Warren County show most people already show their driver's license when voting. 98.9% of people showed a driver's license in this past November election. So it's going to affect a small amount of people, but it's still going to affect the, you know, that 2%. But across the state, it's estimated approximately 800,000 Ohio voters don't have a photo ID. The state will make free IDs available to those who need them. Fundamentally presents a hurdle for the youngest and oldest Ohioans. An awful lot of uh, older Ohioans, after they stop driving, they don't need a state ID to do anything and they don't have one. This bill also shortens the window that you can ask for and return an absentee ballot. Normally, you had 10 days to get your absentee ballot back to the Board of Elections after Election Day, but this bill makes it only four days, and that disproportionately impacts military and overseas voters. What this bill does, it will dramatically increase the number of ballots that were cast on time, mailed on time, but now will not be counted. They'll be thrown out. There's, there's no constituency out there who's saying, let's make it harder for the military to vote. And yet that's the bottom line of what this bill will do. The number of ballots in Warren County that counted this year, but would no longer be counted. This past election, I believe um, the number was close to 200. There's some group of Ohioans who are going to lose the effect of their vote because of these changes. The bill requires counties only to have one drop box, and they've also taken away early voting the Monday before Election Day. Those in support of the bill say the new requirements will help mitigate voter fraud, while others say it creates more hurdles for people to vote. It doesn't matter whether you're voting in person or you're voting absentee. There are parts of this bill designed to make it harder to vote. Now, this bill is now pending Governor DeWine's signature, which he's likely to sign it. And if he does, this will all go into effect with the next municipal elections in 2023. Reporting live in the newsroom, Taylor Nimmo, WCPO 9 News. All right, Taylor, thank you. And you know, when it comes to this bill, Ohio Secretary of State Frank LaRose issued a statement here to WCPO saying in part, quote, overall, the legislature approved some much needed reforms that will benefit both voters and elections officials while continuing to make Ohio one of the most honest and accessible voting states in the nation.